Hi everyone out there on YouTube land. We're going to have a little Ooh. informal chit chat. Me and my honey vital finds here. I don't know what we're going to talk about, but I've just put out a video on my right report channel. I used to put out a couple of them and now, and now vital finds just wants to chit chat with me on camera mm -hmm. and get it on this. So this is going out on the vital finds channel. Is that what it's called? We're off center. Oh. <laughs> that's because I'm a big guy. Well, that's because I adjust the camera to you when you're leaning this way, uh -huh. and then the minute you start, you sit up, oh, and then okay. you're off. Okay, anyway. Okay, so what do you want to talk about, Vital Finds? What should I pontificate on? You started on? babbling about Jay Leno when oh, I... Oh, okay. No, I was just saying it was so funny that Jay Leno was doing some commentary on Barama's, Barack Obama's small town America statements, and... Um, you know, basically pointed out that at the Democrat debate on Wednesday night, you could really tell where these two folks were coming from. You know, Barack Obama is the elitist or so-called elitist, and Hillary Clinton is the gun-toting, whiskey-swilling Annie Oakley of small-town America. So Dodging sniper fire. Yes, dodging sniper fire. <laughs> um, so Leno puts up a, a video clip from the Democrat debate and says, and now you guys can really tell that these people are who they say they are. Look at Barack Obama's podium and they go to a picture of a champagne bottle and caviar on Obama's podium basically as he's talking. <laughs> kind of an elitist thing, you know. Uh -huh. And then he says, and now look at Hillary's podium and she has a six shooter revolver and a bowl full of pork rinds. <laughs> anyway, I just thought that was kind of funny. Um, mm -hmm. But um, anyway, and, and, and I was also telling telling Vital, Vital over here about that uh, show I just watched and upon which I reported on my own channel where the BBC took a very derisive attitude to, towards small town America. You know, basically coming across with the same old elitist opinion that, you know, the world, the U.S. is addicted to oil, small town Americans will suffer, they don't know what to do, they're addicted to their SUVs, yes, yes they are, yes they are, yes they are, yes we are, BBC, America is a are collection of small towns and we like it. reruns already? No, I'm just recapping <laughs> for the... For the Vital Finds YouTube Network. Yes, they will be placed back to back, so I don't really think there needs to be any. Oh, good. well, they'll be on different channels, right? Well, ask me a question on something else. Okay, you want to talk about things like Yahoo no, Ads? <laughs> you need to ask me questions. Oh, <laughs> internet dating services. I mean, what can I say? Do you know that we're we're internet spouses? We met each other in 1998 through Yahoo Dating, essentially, and... This is um, where I can pick up and actually try to get a few words in edgewise. Oh, good. I need a rest. Go ahead, Laurie. Pick up. So, I was a member of Parents Without Partners for, I don't know if it was 10 years, but it was a lot of years. So I saw hundreds, probably a thousand single guys pass by my eyeballs and, you know, dated and was even engaged once. One and a half times, we'll say. Um, and uh, so anyway, I had to start, I had to go to another pool. So I found Yahoo Internet Dating Service. It was free at the time. Now they wised up and started charging. So I made an ad. And um, at the time, it wasn't very well known. So the um, guys who managed to find this service were, um, were like doctors, lawyers, and Indian chiefs. And um, so I had pretty good time <laughs> on Yahoo. In fact, there was one time that my kids went um, to my parents in Massachusetts for like six weeks or something. And so I said, I'm going to line up a date for every single um, night of the week. Well, I didn't quite make it there, but I mentioned that to one date. That was kind of a failure, but we just sort of had, you know, a little... I'm kind of getting off topic, aren't I? Anyway... So anyway, I mentioned that to one guy, and he says, well, you know, you got to eat, right? So, um, but anyway, so there was this one obnoxious ad that I came across, this elitist, <laughs> stuck-up, 
snob <laughs> who I said, oh my God, I am not going to respond to that ad. Um, not only was it, uh, oh, you know, um, sunsets on the beach and, and, and do you like, but the way that, oh, it, and this, lots this of person, sex in blue lagoons. <laughs> and this this person, you know, claimed to play tennis a couple times a week and go to the gym. I'm an A player. I wasn't a an A level player. Uh, anyway, but the kicker was the very first start of the ad was, ladies. Well, ladies, do you like going to the beach? Do you like? Martinis without, I don't know what it is. Yeah. It's a bunch of crap. Absolute vodka dry martinis with a twist. Shake it, not stirred. So I said, yeah. Stinko, not gonna, not gonna respond to that ad. So um, he ended up responding to my ad. And then he sent me his ad. And then I said, oh, it was him. It was him. Well, you know, after all, I need to eat, right? <laughs> So, then the um, protocol was that you would give out your work number. Um, and for some strange reason, he, he slipped a question in and said, oh, okay, and then what's your home number too? And I don't know why I slipped up on it, but I gave him my home number. So, he followed up and called me at work um, and uh, to line up a date, and uh, then... He said, okay, so, and usually you, you would meet at the place. So then he said, okay, so let, we'll, we'll go out on, like, Saturday night, and can I meet you at, and then he spouted off my address. Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell you how this happened, okay? <laughs> I need to fill in some of the details. Vital couldn't make a decision what time I should pick her up. We had determined it would be Saturday night and we would go out to dinner in her neighborhood. And that's all we determined. And this was on a Tuesday. And yes, she had called me at work. Oh, by the way. You called me at work. I called you back. I'm going to tell my story just a little <laughs> bit. I pick up the phone at noon and I hear, oh, you're there. I expected voicemail. Well, yeah, I was trying and to I said, <laughs> what do you mean you expected voicemail? She said, well, I didn't want to talk to you live the first time I called. <laughs> I was going to leave you a message to call me back at work so that you would call me, but oh well, you answered the phone. I figured you'd be at lunch. <laughs> so anyway, so we, have this, so we have this conversation at work, and so we get to the punchline, which is, yep, Saturday night, your neighborhood, we're going out to dinner. Uh, but Vital can't tell me what time to pick her up. So she says, call me Thursday night. But he's the guy. She says, call me Thursday night. Well, I'm driving out to her neck of the woods, and she knows the restaurants and all this other stuff. So anyway, she says, call me Thursday night. And then says, okay, talk to you then. To which I respond, Thursday night, are you going to be at your desk in your office, or are you going to be at home? And she says, oh, I'm going to be at home. Here's my home phone number. Okay. So then I do the reverse lookup to prove how smart I am. And then Thursday night when I call her back to get the time, I, to get, why? I have a quest. I mean, you know, just know what I'm doing, so... I like my version better. So I call her back Thursday night. She prompted it. She volunteered her home phone number. I did not volunteer my home phone number. It was pride out of me. I, I, well, I, you could have said 8 o'clock. It was an unexpected thing. You could have said pick me up at 8. No, you asked for both phone numbers right off the bat. No, I didn't. It was because you couldn't make a decision. So, anyway, so then I simply show her that I'm capable of using a reverse lookup directory, which Yahoo kindly provided capable of so, stalking. So then so I figured, that, so at that point, I, I hesitated, at, and, I, and I was thinking, okay, should I refuse this date now? And I'm thinking, well, what what good would it do? He knows where I live. So I might as well go out with him and, um, and, and show him what a jerk I am so that done. he is not interested in stalking me anymore. That's right. <laughs> and the rest is history. Anyway, so, yep. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Vital thought I was an overbearing, obnoxious elitist. 
basically. I'm, and we all know <laughs> what she thought, thought. She thinks. <laughs> but everybody knows I'm just an old cuddly teddy bear here, waxing eloquent or not so eloquently on various topics of the day. You know, by the way, did I mention I have my own channel, a rate report? I am trading off of Vital's celebrity status. Okay, because like we can ramble on here forever because she's like some YouTube partner, some big poobah. But I have never been featured in the ether. Yes, I've been featured on The Right Report. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, I guess this is kind of fun. See, I don't feel like pressed to say something brilliant now because oh, I'm, I'm just shooting the I'm just shooting the breeze here <laughs> with Vital. You know, that's what she calls herself, Vital. I guess you guys call her Vital out there. I have been called vital, vital findings, vital signs, <laughs> um, <laughs> vitals. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, that is the magic of YouTube. You know, I used to spell it the letter U dash T U B E. I didn't know it was Y O U for a long time. They broke my rules of how to get a perfect URL. A perfect uh, URL would be where you don't have to say it's Y O U, not U, you know. Yeah, I know. You would think once Google bought YouTube, Google Google could have handled that. And just, well, I mean, at this know, point in time, they, you know, they're yeah, probably yeah, not. But. Yeah, I guess so. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, okay, I'm just sitting here, and Vital Finds is determining what we're doing. Okay, let's uh, wrap it up. Okay, let's wrap it up. Say goodbye, Vital. Okay, goodbye, Vital. Okay, <laughs> goodbye, Mark. All right. <laughs>